Haha, <laughs> dude. Why is this so tough? <laughs> I'm doing my best. I'm doing my best, dude. It's just, it's really tough. Okay, act. This is a bad fucking start. All right, we'll just go with a handbook and two water bottles and some food. I mean, you gotta get this stuff anyway, so fuck it. All right, we're coming over here to Mary and the flashlight. Boom. Okay. Now we're gonna grab the suitcase and the cards. Good stuff, good stuff. I need this ax. Drop it off, good enough, right? Coming way down here, we need Timmy and Dolores. Yes, I need that gun as well, fuck. Okay, we're gonna get the gun, and we're gonna, oh, med kit and gun. Good, that's good, that's good, that's good. There's a radio right there. Why the fuck is this in the bathroom? Who the fuck put that there? Gas mask and map. Okay, let's see what happens, stream. This is it. Okay, bitches. Here we go. Yes. Suck on my fucking cock. Four bottles of water, six cans of food, gun, axe, radio, flashlight, handbook, cards, med kit, chest board. Ha! Yes! Skadoosh, baby. Day two. Now we just have to hope we don't get a fire and or flood and or earthquake early on. That would be super awesome. Everything's okay, everyone's all right. Moving on. Holy shit, there has been some radio chatter about airdrops from the military. It's about time. All those taxes had to pay for a crate or two for us, right? Shall we head out to get them? Yes, we shall. And you know what? I'm gonna take that fucking food and water and I'm gonna shove it up my dick. Yes, good start. We lost the gas mask, but that's okay. It was worth. Uh, everyone's okay. No one needs food and water today. I forget. If I if I don't use the med kit here, does everyone get sick or does everyone just get really tired? I can cure insanity. If they get sick, I don't have a med kit anymore. I can't cure sickness, and it's an obvious use it. I think I'm gonna play it safe though, and I'm gonna use it. I think we can we can replace that med kit, right? Let's let's, let's use it. Dicks out, baby. Our first aid kit was well stocked with a variety of medical supplies, including a pack of sleeping I think pills. You're pretty neat. First aid was well stocked with a variety of medical supplies, including a pack of sleeping pills. We never thought we would use them, but in these conditions, it's the right thing to do. Also, it was a nice change from our usual diet of tomato soup. We're all rested now and can enjoy our time in the shelter, or can we? Mary Jane's fainting, everyone needs water, so we're gonna give them water on day five. For now, they are fine. We're not going to go on an expedition because we can't. We broke our gas mask. The fallout outside is not gone yet, so they'll die from radiation. We have to wait till we get the broadcast telling us that, hey, it's all cool now. Uh, Mary Jane's fainting. Everyone, okay, everyone wants water right now. Ted has one foot in the grave. That's fine. Boom. Let's give them all water. No expedition. Fuck. Fuck. Peculiar. It seems the whole shelter has been shaking every couple of minutes, and it feels like it's getting stronger every time this happens. Here it comes again, and it's way worse. It's an earthquake. Hold on to something. Well, our gas mask is already broken. The flashlight we could really need. I mean, obviously, we're going to save the radio. Every time, you always save the radio, I feel like. However, we're if the flashlight breaks, the flashlight can be repaired. Let's all remember, the flashlight's gonna break, it can be repaired. But if the military broadcast comes in from the mil- or whatever, and they say to use a flashlight, we're not gonna be able to answer that without one, so. Let's hope the handbook fixes it. Honestly, if we're gonna pick either a flood, earthquake, or fire, the earthquake's gonna be way better. The gas mask is already broken. We already got our use out of it, too. And the flashlight can be repaired. Yeah. That's the best one we could get, we're not complaining. We always stared away from casinos, gambling dens, and, and the like. So when a man came to our door and told us he used to be a gambler, we were suspicious. He invited us to play a game. He proposed a two water bottle bet in a card game of our choice. That's a no-go. We're not going to gamble shit. Gambling's a terrible habit. What kind of example is that to set to the kids? We need supplies, but we're not getting them like that. We'd sooner rob someone. We sent that man away. Good riddance. 
Ring, ring. There we were, thinking we could never hear a telephone signal again, when suddenly a phone starts ringing from somewhere outside. We figure the phone, uh, the phone booth is across the street. Should someone go answer it? Now, to the uninitiated, right? Everyone's gonna go answer that phone, but we are the initiated. We know that sending someone out to answer this phone is pointless because we're gonna be rescued by the military. There's only one point, I mean, basically it's gonna be some bitches and be like, oh my God, we have this shelter and we need this stuff and you can come live with us if you help us. That's basically it. We're not gonna do that because why waste supplies on two rescue teams when we can just focus everything on one? And we're gonna keep getting that phone. It's gonna keep ringing. We're gonna keep ignoring it. We're not gonna, you will find a med kit. That's not how it works. Uh, it's just way too dangerous to just randomly run into a ringing phone in the middle of radioactive ghost town. Mary Jane's acting with a little food. Timmy's very hungry. All right, let's give everyone some food here. Gotta eat. Mary Jane keeps a little food. Didn't I just feed these people? Like yesterday? Spiders seem to be operating under the assumption that they have the same rights to the shelter as we do. They are everywhere and don't seem very scared of us. It's time we change that. We don't want any more spiders in our soup. No, sir. We decided to get rid of those spiders with our bare hands, feet, and whatever other body parts we could use for lethal anti-spider attacks. Unfortunately, we've underestimated their chances. They're really fast. All we achieved was getting tired. Maybe we'll have more luck next time. All right, so everyone needs water right now. So let's give everyone some water. Still can't go on an expedition. We can keep sitting on our backsides here in this tiny little bunker, or we can start thinking about getting away as far as possible from this radioactive wasteland. Who would have thought the Reds would ruin such a lovely neighborhood? We could do it on our own, the escaping part, not the ruining part. Of course, however, neat, but there might be someone out there who can help us. Let's keep our ears and eyes open. Good news, the government made a radio broadcast extracting, extracting, about extracting survivors from the, our area. The announcer asked everyone listening to wait a while longer and expect further communication in a few days. We'll be out of here soon. Mary Jane's quite hungry. Despite the dire circumstances and all the trouble we are going through, Timmy is being very brave. Clay's been fine for Dolores. Not much going on with Ted. Cool. Still no expedition. It's high time we stop wondering about what's going on and start asking questions. Okay, listen to the radio again. We're able to get a weak signal and tap into the government's emergency announcement, and guess what? Great news. The fallout outside has mostly gone. It should be much safer to travel on the surface now. So now we can go on expeditions. We don't really, we still could get sick. Now we're good. Mary Jane is quite hungry. Teams' behavior, how long will it last? Tours what we should eat. They're all fine. Moving on. Day 13. Here we go. So now. We can, again, guarantee whoever we send out will not get sick. Let's give food to everyone. Let's prepare for an expedition. Day 15. All right, so everyone needs water right now. So we're gonna give everyone water. We are running out of supplies. Timmy with a gas mask, and that is it, nothing else. Good luck, Timmy. Dick's out for Timmy, baby. And we're gonna be able to go on expedition after expedition because you're, up, you're about to do maybe three or four expeditions before bandits follow you back and then you have to stop because then the bandits are gonna be camped outside your bunker. We haven't gone out once, so we can do it a lot. We're definitely gonna be able to fill up on a lot of supplies. As soon as Timmy gets back, Mary, she's out of there, dude. She's going out too. Only three bottles of water left. We really do need water. Uh, Mary Jane says she's fine. Today's been fine for Dolores. Ted's okay. Hear that? No, because no one is talking. Not a word in hours. None of us. We can't just stare at the walls. We need to do something about this. Okay, let's listen to the radio. Let's see what the radio has to say for us. It might be the military transmission number one. Ah, uh, how fortunate we took the radio with us. No, we just listened to music. Okay. Mary Jane Tyke's little food. Doris not eating for a while. Ted doesn't eat anything. Okay, they're all fine. Fuck it. Day 19. Boring day. Nothing happened. Oh, jeez. Uh, Mary Jane is quite hungry. Mary Jane keeps fainting. Give order now. We're gonna give her. We're gonna give them all water on day 20, and then food on day 21. Here we go. There's never a good time to go out into the radioactive wasteland, but it seems this will become a necessity in this new world of ours. We thought it'd be a good idea to make this happen sooner rather than later, and plan a trip outside before we could make the third step beyond the shelter doors. An unknown creature started staring at us in the darkness. We only had moments to decide what to do. Well, the only good thing you can do here is use the flashlight because it's a dog that's what it is it's not anything bad if we use the gun well that's we're gonna break the gun for nothing right so fuck that we don't have a flashlight let the dog run away shoe doggy 
We felt it was too risky to face whatever horror awaited in the shadows. We did what any sane person would do. We shut the door. The creature was gone the next morning. All right, so basically, let's give everyone some water here. We received another... Yes! We received another transmission from the army. They'll be doing a quick sweep of the area and ask all survivors to leave markings at the tight. nearest bus stop. The markings are to be made with cards. Guess we won't be able to play poker, but if that gets us rescued, then we probably make that sacrifice. So, we answered the first transmission. We no longer need the map or flashlight um, to be rescued. And Timmy is back, so that's great. The cards are in place. All we need to do is wait for the army to pinpoint our location. Now, the next transmission is going to A, use the axe, or B, use the gun. Those are the only items that matter right now, right? Well, I guess those two, the med kit. Oh, Timmy came back with a med kit. Hey! Okay, the Boy Scout handbook, the radio, those four items, right? The handbook, radio, axe, gun, and then food and water, and we are good. We ran into an airdrop crates during our expedition. We should probably be thankful to President Fonda or whatever the fuck. Two cans of soup, two bottles of water, and a med kit. But we lost the gas mask. That's unfortunate. It's way too dangerous to random. We run outside. Mary Jane's hungry. Timmy should eat. They're all still hungry. Fuck it. Let's give them more food. And let's prepare for another expedition. Here we go. Someone paid us a visit today. It was an overly cheerful red-haired woman accompanied by a grumpy-looking mercenary type who was probably her guard. She told us she was a traitor and eagerly showed us the items she had brought along. Let's see here. I either want the flashlight or I want the bug spray. I think bug spray. She offers bug spray. Yeah, this is a really, these are some good trades. I say we take the bugs. All right, Mary Jane is hungry. Timmy's very hungry. Some water for Dolores. Yada, yada, yada. Fuck all of you. I don't care. All right, Mary. You're going out there, baby cakes. I guess, honestly, I could just send it with a map, right? Now, where should I mar mark this map? I'm thinking right there is probably good. It's kind of close to the river. Let's do that. Right there, right? Good luck, Mary. Don't fuck this up. Timmy, she needs something. Timmy's shape. Don't just want any water. All right, so basically water. Mary's back, and she's not sick, and she brought water. At a girl, Mary. At a girl. And she brought the map. We're all proud of you, baby. Yes. All right. And we'll make sure we weren't followed. Uh, nothing made us happen in sight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we were not followed. We can still go on another expeditions, too. Timmy's hungry. Mary Jane gives a little food. Doris love to eat. I wish for Ted. No trouble. Let's give him all some food here. Uh, he's not... Oh, Timmy's not looking well? Uh-oh. Timmy might be sick. There has to be some water left. Doris should get it. Ted should drink. Ah, they're fine. All right. We need to make a choice for today's expedition. Do I want to send Lay Timmy out again? Hmm. I mean, I really... Let's go up here this time, right? And we're going to send him with a map. Eh, they can survive one more day without water. Day 30. Dolores not tell any water any longer. Ted has one foot in the grave. Oh my god, I almost get that. Oh my god, wait! The military is communicating through the radio again. We're sure it was a signal to evacuate out of here, but it turns out they need our help. The speaker requested that all able citizens in the area should chop down a tree or two in the nearby park. It sounds ridiculous, but they're claiming this will make it easier for them to extract us. We've never even liked that park, so let's do this already. We did it, baby. Now, we need to await an interview, which we don't need any items for it. We just need someone to be well rested. Um, and be able to go out. And that will be Dolores or Ted. Guaranteed. So, we wait for that interview. Once we have that interview, then we just wait maybe five days or so. And the army is here. The game is over. We beat it. Everyone's alive. Yes. Timmy's still not back. Let's all pray that Timmy comes back home. Timmy is still not back. Welcome back, Timmy. Mm, look at all that food. Ten cans of food. Almost 11. 8.5 bottles of water. Yes! Holy shit. Yes! Mary Jane is, keeps fainting. We need for something to drink fast. Mary, uh, Timmy needs food. It's today or never. So basically, it looks like food and water for everyone. It's a party day, baby. We're eating. But we're not going to go on any more expeditions at all. No more. We are going to wait here 
and we're just gonna chill. We're gonna wait for that interview, and we're gonna wait to get rescued. We have plenty of food, plenty of water, and we have a radio. That's all we need. We don't need anything else. Whoa. Congratulations on getting a game named after your sex life soda. Hope all is well, smiley face. I'm gonna go pee on that note. Fucking cocksucker, wow. Oh my god, Mary got sick? What? Robbing innocent people? Absolutely not. We are not savages. Mary Jane gives a little food. Mary Jane gives Vinny to go something to drink fast. Mary Jane caught something nasty. Uh oh, well, med kit, water, food. The army started broadcasting again. They are requesting a representative from all survivor groups to meet them at a specific or a specified location nearby. It seems they wish to question people before they evacuate us from the area. We're not sure if this is good or bad. We should send someone though. It's still our best chance. All right, Dolores. The interview is over. Now we just wait. We don't need anything but food and water. That is it. We don't need the radio. We don't need the handbook. We don't need the suitcase. We don't need any of this shit. They know where we are. They're gonna come rescue us. We just have to wait maybe five or six days. Maybe move, uh, Mary Jane's accusable little food. No news gonna do Timmy. Life's hard for us right now. Dolores in a good mood. This morning's been calm for Ted. That was a very boring day. Day 45. All right. From here on out, every single day, we're possibly going to be rescued. Every single day is possibly a W. Uh, it's just a matter of luck. We need metal supplies, and what do we have is a bad joke. Time to do something about it. That bug spray is just sitting there. Why don't we use it to make drugs? This is a very good roll. I don't, I've only gotten this twice before. You turn the bug spray into a med kit. Fucking worth. We need Mary Jane to do some, or something to drink. Some water for Timmy would be nice. If something we need, it's water for Dolores. Ted is really Money's thirsty. Tight. Okay, when Dolores came back from the expedition the other day, she had a tiny scratch on her leg. It didn't seem serious at the time, but right now, it's quite a terrible sight. If we don't do anything about it, losing one leg will be a minor inconvenience in comparison to what might happen next. Well, we literally just got a med kit. Lucky. Mary Jane is fainting. The neighbors want to drink fast. He was real shape. Dolores have any water. Ted has one foot in the grave, so water today. This might be it, baby. Holy shit. Open in the name of freedom came a shout from outside our door. We weren't sure who claimed to be representing freedom, but we could hear as a group of people probably armed. Anyone who introduced themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open? Yes! Who is it? We peeked outside. We were greeted by a group of high school students. They were well equipped and looked like they could take care of themselves. They questioned us about enemy combatants in the area. We couldn't help them, Dude, but they were happy to leave suck. one of their spare you. axes with us in case we need <laughs> to defend ourselves. Nothing's bothering Mary. Timmy's okay. Nothing on Dolores. Today's been calm for Ted. Day 50. Here we go. Knock, knock. This sound always surprises and confuses us. It could mean anything, good or bad, but we're always curious. Should we open the door? Please, God. Dude, you fucking suck and love you. Oh my God, no! What happened? Wait, what happened? Someone started shooting at us. We closed the hatch as quickly as we could, but a shot or two grazed us. Mary Jane keeps fainting. We need for something to find her something to drink fast. Team is in terrible shape. We need even water now. Dolores does not have any water any longer. Ted is one foot in the grave. They shot Mary. God, she is a big target. Fuck. God damn it. We initially thought was thunder turned out to be a heavy knocking on the door. Someone either hates that door or is very determined to have someone answer it. Should we open the door? Come on, dude. Come on. Come on. End it! Thank you, world! Yes! We win. Holy fuck. Suck a dick, world. I'm better than all of you.